All right, good morning kids and welcome back to our class for today. And for those who cannot join with us this morning, I will just send this video right after the class. And always, if there, uh, there is something like, if there is video that I'm going to show it today, show it with you today. I'm so sorry for those who are absent because in, in YouTube, I will not include the video that I'm going to play this time because of the copyright claim. So very dangerous. Uh, my, my YouTube channel will, will be blocked, so I cannot use it anymore for, for teaching. All right, so those who are not here with us this time, those who are absent this time during this meeting, you can watch this video right after our class. And then all you have to do because the videos are not here, not included in my presentation, you can go directly to YouTube, all right? So now let's proceed, kids. Last time we talked about mixing materials. So we know that mixing materials is very, um, very known in our, like uh, we use it every single time and we are actually using some objects. And most of the objects that we are using this time are actually mixed with a different materials. See that? Most of the objects that we are using today are actually mixed with different materials. Example, TV. Yeah, TV are actually, TV is mixed with different materials like uh, metal, plastic, and you know, as well as glass. So this time I'm facing with my computer and I know, and you know that um, computer is also mixed with different materials as well. So we have here, uh, we have the glass also, the plastic and also the metals who do that. So mixing materials um, is very known in our time today. So we can see it, we can feel it and everything. So like for example, I'm sitting on the chair and this chair is made of two different materials. This object is uh, made of two different materials. We have the wood and the metal. So I know that you have also uh, some objects in your houses this time, which which is make which are make makes mix of different materials. Now this time, instead of throwing uh, throwing those uh, objects that we don't like it anymore, what we are going to do, we can do something in order for us to reduce um, the pollution in our uh, recent situation, especially in our time, kids, in our generation. So using, reusing used materials. So what happened to the rubbish that we throw away? What do you mean by rubbish? Rubbish considered as trash. We don't use it anymore, all right? So we don't use it anymore. Fully. For example, after you drink water, what will happen to the bottle? Of course, you're going to throw away to the garbage bin. Of course, if you're eating candies, if you're eating candies, you're eating um, junk foods or whatever, after you eat that one, the leftover or the, the package that is called rubbish anymore. For the water, the bottle will be rubbish anymore, or shall we say, no used anymore. That's why after we uh, consume the what's inside of it, we are going to throw away that uh, leftover in the bin. See, that is called rubbish. Like for example, I am eating pizza and after eating pizza, um, the case of a pizza, I will throw it in the bin. So, we are going to look at here what happened to the rubbish that we throw away. Well, I will refresh it so that it's easy for you to understand what happened to the trash that we throw away, okay? Or well, what happened to the leftover that we throw away? What will happen to them? Of course, what have you thrown away today? So this is the question. What have you thrown away today? I think um, all of us thrown something and I don't know what are those things. 
you can answer it by yourselves. We throw away things every day. Yes, every single day we throw different things. Okay, every single day, especially if you're cooking in your house. After, um, after cooking, there are things that, uh, let's say, trash anymore, rubbish anymore, which is the leftover. We are going to throw that right away in the bin. So what happens if we simply throw all our old and used materials? What will happen if we have like old shirts, plastic bottles, and so on and so forth in our houses this time? If we pick up those stuffs, those rubbish, and throw every single day in a bin, what will happen to those materials? Okay, here. Most of the rubbish goes into, goes into a landfills. Do you know what is landfills? Landfills, I will show it later. How long can our dump sites and landfills last? So do you know what is landfills? Do you know what is dump sites? These are dump sites or lump landfills. So landfills, it, landfills are usually the rubbish and up, okay? So everything the, the men are co collected, or shall we say, the truck collector collects our garbage, collects our rubbish, they will bring that one to the landfills. Okay, and landfills are like a very large area where you can see only garbage. You can see only rubbish. So how long can our dump sites and landfills last so this is a kind of a question that we have to answer all right so we have to answer and to ponder this kind of question okay that okay so we have to uh, answer this certain question how long maybe two years one year three years five years ten years or whatsoever so what can we help what can we help so that the uh, land landfills, landfills and dump sites will not be overloaded. What can we help? We can do something. All right, some of it burned and some of it ends up in the ocean. So what will happen? Some people are actually burning a bit. They burned it because they don't like it anymore. It seems that there is no use anymore. And the result for burning this one, it can cause air pollution. It can cause what uh, uh, damage in our atmosphere as well as if there is damage in our atmosphere, all of all of us will be affected. And of course, kids, remember, if you burn something, this is already considered as air pollution. Why? Because the smoke that is coming from the burning, uh, from the burning of different stuff. What? what, what what is that? What kind of air is that? That is called carbon dioxide, which is very uh, dangerous for human being. So very dangerous for me, very dangerous for you, and to, to all the, the animals as well. So very dangerous. So what we're going to do, we can do something. And remember kids, if you keep throwing your garbage anywhere, anywhere on the road, um, when you're play, on the playground or whatever, whatsoever. So um, some of it will end up in the ocean. So if, if our ocean is like this, the, can you imagine this one? Can you picture out what will happen to the species that are living in this, um, in this area, in this place, in this kingdom? What will happen to the fish? What will happen to the crabs? What will happen to the lobsters? What will happen to our beaches? We cannot swim. We cannot go there and do picnic. We, can, uh, we cannot do there, hang out with our friends and families because our oceans or our beaches are like this already. So what can we do kids? Please, if you eat candies, if you eat something, do not throw away anywhere because all of that stuff or all of this and that rubbish that you throw anywhere, it will end up to the ocean and it will cause 
what damage to our uh, to our oceans or view the beauty of, of the beaches and of course many animals living organisms that living in the oceans will be affected so don't do it again you have to keep your garbage in your bag and throw it um, properly in a proper waste disposal area or in the bean you have to put it there all right kids so another here unwanted materials like plastic metal and glass take a long time to break down yes if you keep throwing plastic metal and glass in what in in in, in, in the bin of course that that bin will be bring that garbage will be i mean the garbage that garbage will be bring will be brought to what to the landfills and that certain objects that i mentioned that i mentioned i mean plastic metal and glass it will take a long time to break down so what will happen what will happen um maybe later on years later maybe our uh, lands landfills will be full enough that there is no uh, space anymore for the new garbage so what will happen to us we will be affected okay Excuse me. They take up space. Yes, they take up space. The, they also pollute the environment. So what is that? They also pollute the environment. So look at that. Of course, these plastics are present in our toilet or in our, um, what is that? In the dressing, like, how do you call that one? That the, usually the mother or your sister will. Uh, I, I know it. It's a dresser. Yeah. Some of these plastics are actually present in, a, in our dresser. So after using this plastic, of course, if there is no use anymore, we're going to throw this in a bin. So we can do something on it later. What about this one? What about if you're going to reuse it? What about if you're going to recycle it? Why? In order for us to help the surroundings in order for us to help the people that surrounds us so look at this reuse you can reuse it you can recycle it too to reduce what the environment and to reduce what the the rubbish or the garbage that you're going to that the to reduce the garbage in a, in a dump site or in a landfills right so how can we reduce wastes how can kids parents Teachers, how can we reduce waste? We can do something out from those materials that it is that that are considered as garbage, that's considered as garbage anymore. We can reuse it. We can recycle it. All right. So this time, okay. What I have told you, you can reuse it and you can uh, recycle it to reduce. Uh, the the what the garbage that we uh, encounter every single day to reduce the pollution as well.
Hey, sorry, sorry. Oh no, I have to go back here. I guess I muted, I'm sorry. Okay, so glass bottle. Sorry, sorry. So recycle. Many unwanted materials can be turned into new useful objects. All right, so this is called recycling. Number one, paper, plastic, glass, or many more. So some metals can be recycled. Paper can be recycled to become toilet paper, towels, and cardboards. Glass bottle can be recycled to become new glass bottles and jars. Look at this, tuna can and pop can to make a new bicycle. But look at the bottle that we drink. Um, we throw in the bean and, and then of course, those products will be bring to the factory again and the factory will process to make new bottle once again. All right, so metal from, from cans be recycled to make a new bicycles or new cans. So this bench is made of made from 800 plastic milk jacks, this one, right? So we, we can sort the rubbish we throw into, we throw out into our recycle, recycling bins we have here. You can segregate the paper, segregate the metal, segregate the glass, segregate the plastic. Still the same if you have beaker, a plus a garbage stool. All right. So another thing here that you are that you want to do, that you will do, reuse it. Use things that then once pass down old toys, books, clothes that no longer fit in you. Right. So if you if you have old toys, give it to your friends. If you have old books, give it to your friends. If you have old clothes and no longer fit, you can give it to your friends or or, or to your cousins. So we should reuse used materials as well. This help to reduce waste. And of course, it will help also to reduce what? Air pollution. So we can reuse unwanted, unwanted wrapping what? Wrapping paper, old notes paper, or used paper to make paper bags or origami such such a paper, such as such as such as such as paper planes and paper flowers. So you can do that. Paper bags, don't use it anymore. You can use it for paper planes and origami. This is a paper flowers that is considered as origami. So we can reuse plastic bottles in what? You can use bottles in many ways too. You can do like this, the crafts for kids and also here. Actually, you can watch in YouTube. Plastic bottles be reused as pots and plant for vegetables. So they can be stacked in layers vertically so that more vegetables can be planted in an area. So you can do this, plastic bottles can be reused to make handicrafts like this. And of course, so what happened to the toys that you don't want anymore and the clothes that you do, you outgrow, you are going to, you can donate that, donate that to your friends. we we'll use plastic groceries bags and trash bags too, all right? So, we're going to do in order for us to help old tires can be used in many ways like that. Old tires can be used for bumpers. Old tires can be used like that. Very useful. All things that we have is very useful for us. So in order for us to reduce those things, what can we do? We can do something in order for us to help our surroundings, to help maintain a very good what uh, atmosphere. So we can reduce, we can make less rubbish, buy things with less packaging, or we can also use pure plastic bags